Hey everyone, this is Manly Bastard, and welcome to more. A horror game where a girl returns to her family home and starts talking to spirits, which is just totally a smart idea. Mom says the accident happened somewhere down by the dock. I really don't remember. The earliest fragment of my childhood I can recall is of crashing through the surface. I went through all of the usual sensations of drowning, the numbing strain of your muscles burning with adrenaline, the rhythmic ache of your lungs begging for air, and the slow building panic of desperately reaching for the world above only to feel as if something, relentlessly, keeps pulling me further down. As everything began to darken, I heard this strange, otherworldly sound coming from below. More beautiful than anything I'd ever heard. It sounded just like a choir of angel song. I remember feeling strangely calm then. The thing pulling me down was just the angels wanting to drag me away to heaven so I could sing with them too. I just hadn't expected it to hurt so much when I finally took a breath. Even months after leaving the hospital, whenever I closed my eyes to sleep, I could still feel those angels pulling at me. Sometimes, I could still hear them sing. Truth to be told, I'm not sure they ever let me go. So I wonder if this could be a bit of like a Lovecraftian, not not like a hard one, it's like oh aliens and blah blah blah, but more of the mystery. Maybe there's a little more of an angle to where she almost drowned. Let's explore outside just a little bit. Oh God. Whoops. Wasn't me. So let's go inside. Oh, Mom. She must have locked the door out of habit. Again. Okay. Ooh, I can grab everything. I can't remember the last time mom left me alone here. Let me take a floor of everything. After earlier today, I understand if she needs some space. I don't think we've ever felt like that before. Yeah, I'll start again knowing. Hmm. Small place, but relatively cozy. Here's the bathroom. Here's where scary things happen, especially with a nice front window into the darkness. So you know if there's any weird killers or monsters out there. They stare at you from the distance, from the shadows, as you're right here on the john, unable to do anything. That's right. This silence is making me. You're sitting insane. right here. Things are calm. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Where's my sketchbook? Why can't I remember where I put things? And in the corner of your eye, you see a figure staying right next to that tree. Yes, sir, a perfect layout to freak you the hell out.
quite God-fearing people. Oh. There's food on the table. But I don't see anyone around. It's a little weird, you know what I mean? This must have been her room. My memory has been a bit weird ever since the uh, incident. Drawing seems to be about all I can do to really piece things together. It's gonna light. Interesting. I don't know, just, it, it's inherently a comfy place, but it also isn't. You just got this kind of like spooky, foggy views from every window. And she likes sketching. I guess you really done what you can do out here. Locked up. Laundry room. It's just weird. It's like there's food here. Lots of it. Now, there's supposed to be a spirit board, and I think that's the main gimmick of the game. Yes, sorry. A spirit board? Am I really getting that absent-minded, or was it actually here before? Isn't there supposed to be some kind of indicator to use for the letters? A planchette? Or something? I guess I could use a glass instead. Hopefully the demons won't mind. I'm thinking that's not the type of glass we want. I hear a creak? Nah. Need one of these? Here we go, one glass. I can't believe I'm actually trying to. Someone there? Is someone there? Yes. First, let's find out what you are. What exactly are you? Are you some kind of spirit? Don't want to answer that one. F. R. Friend. Friend. I guess that's good to know. What do you want? What do you want? You did seem pretty eager to get my attention. S. Show. Show. You want to show me something? It's working a little too well. Why me? I don't mean to seem self-centered, but... What do you want with me? Why is it that you want to show me something? P O Portrait? Huh. What do you mean, portrait? That is... 
very vague and strangely specific at the same time. Goodbye? Yeah, no TV. Look for a portrait, maybe? I mean, that seems like an obvious one. There's quite a few of them here. As a kid, I always dreamed of inheriting mom's beauty. Unfortunately, it never seemed to happen. She can't have been much older than I am now in this portrait. I think that's what they wanted. Because, you know, the TV turned back on its own. Huh. That portrait of mom. Is that what you wanted to show me? Believe me, I'm well aware I didn't inherit her good looks. Yes. yes. You really are here to torment me. What's it have to do with mom? What do you want with my mother? If you ever think about hurting her, I'll... I'll at least look up how to do an exorcism. What if the ghost is us and we drowned all those years ago? Danger? Danger? I... I really hope that's a warning and not a threat. Is mom in danger? Are you saying that mom is in danger? What kind of danger? And... Angel? Angel maker? What is that? It doesn't exactly have a nice ring to it. Something like a tool? Is that what you are? An... an angel maker? Blue... Boss. Blue... face. I'm guessing this is something else you want me to see. And I have a slight feeling it will leave me just as clueless. Goodbye. I'll... I'll take that as a yes. Look around here. A riddle. So you want to play? Okay. Who is the phone? Let's play. Pleasant smell and hue of green. He just wants to keep the people clean. Mush mush. Ghost. You're... you're speaking with Lynn? Hello? Lynn? It's just me. I'm ready to run tell this home now. Foul winds be damned. And I merely wanted to check in on you to hear that everything is well. Oh, Mom. Yes, everything is just fine. I know I left a bit abruptly. But I prepared some food for you before I went. It's in the fridge. And I want you to know that you're very welcome to it. Oh, thank you. So you're not angry anymore? Of course not, dear. You're almost a grown woman, and it's only natural that you want to make your own decisions. Dramatic and impulsive as they may be. That's such a relief. I, I was really worried that- Now, you all just finished making supper for us, and it would be terribly rude of me to keep her waiting at the table. Wait, before you go, have you ever noticed anything strange happening here on the island? What do you mean? Has something happened? No, no, I, I just thought maybe- Maybe I saw something. Lynn, listen to me. It's not my intention to scare you without reason. But you know how many folk tales there are about spirits and the likes lurking at the edge of water. Things that would do the best to trick you, even befriend you. And the beings in those tales 
are rarely benevolent. Mom, is this part of the reason why you never wanted me to be alone here before? But why do we keep coming back if... Mom? Mom? I mean, it's a nice island. We paid for it, don't want to go to waste. I mean, sirens be damned. So green makes things squeak. This. close. She wants to keep the people clean. I'm not sure if that's the one or if I skipped a clue. I just got something, so I think that did have a clue on it. Milk. You really hit a clue in the milk? And that's when that would. That's when I get that clue. Okay, so I skipped one. Let's read my book. Okay, a map, I wonder where it leads. You can look at the house layout. Hmm. Huh. Let's have a room layout. X marks a spot? I think this is what they mean. Right? Because there's the bed. There's a desk. Thing in the corner. This is 100% it. Urgh. Spooky. Yeah, a little what secret room. These toys aren't mine. Oh no. And all of these drawings. What are they supposed to? Oh crap. I don't like this. Also, my sensitivity went really weird in here. Let's get stupid. You have another sister. You drowned. That place in in my room. Oh crap! I have no light. I can't yours? read it. Were those toys yours? Well, we still see the letters, thankfully. You were hiding in there. From that thing. 
the uh, the angel maker. I suppose that means it makes angels because it kills someone. Is your name Michael? Is your name Michael? I saw it written on the hatch. Yes. Yes. Did you live here? Did you used to live here? In this house? I mean, before. No. No. So this was just your hiding place? Or maybe that's just a strange question to ask someone. Or something like you. What are you? What are you? Really? A ghost? A demon? A child? Angel? Angel? I have no idea what to make of that. So Angel Maker got you an and made you an angel? hiding in my room. What do you want with me? Please, just tell me. What is it that you want with me? Why are you showing me these things? Why are you here? Gift. Gift. You want to give me a gift? What do you want to give me a Why gift? Why would you want to give me a gift? You don't owe me anything. Starfall. How is that a gift that can be given? Where is the gift? Suppose I would actually want this gift of yours. Where would I find it? Forbidden room. The the forbidden room. That sounds nice. Do you mean mom's room? Why why do you want me to go in there? Secret. A secret. No, no, I, I wouldn't do that. I've promised her not to. She would be furious if she knew I even thought about it. Three. Three? Three what? Two. Two. Why are you counting down? What's going on? Oh crap. Just, just wait. One. Don't spook me. Maybe it's a clue. Three, two, one. That's where the key is. No. This isn't right. I promised her. Okay, that opened on its own in front of me. Crap. Shh, we'll hide behind the door from those cool people. Maybe that's what it meant, 3, 2, 1, like hide. Ah, uh, damn. It is Lovecraftian. It's the fairy folk.
<laughs> Drown children. Let me out. Let me out. Starfall. Now what? See, if you're smart, you would've just left already. But no, we're not. We have to do things. Things that aren't smart, because we're an unsmart person. So he starts at behind this shelf. Great, you knocked out the lights in here. So I'm wondering if that's implying something. So I'm gonna tear all the books. Nah, I'm too lazy. Let's check my notebook. Turn off the lights. See, it's got a trail. You just want me to make it scarier, don't you? Let's go here. And there. Yeah. And there. Yeah. Never light switch. Bathroom. Great, great. The whole thing I talked about with the spooky bathrooms coming back. Star. Okay, but I'm turning the lights back on. What is this going to lead to? Is the bomb a bad person? What's going on? Mom? Are you okay? I don't like this. There's also a bug where my sensitivity... I sometimes go in these areas, goes crazy. Journal. Locked. Pills. Lots of them. You remember I mentioned the God-fearing part? Fix a brand. Six. Angel Maker. God, one of the mom comes back. Maybe she's the one I'm supposed to be avoiding. Turn some lights on so it's less scary, but they don't get scary later when it turns the lights off. What do you want with my mother? End. End. You want her to end. To die. What made you like this? What made you like this? 
Why are you haunting this place? Angel maker. Anger. Anger. Why are you angry? Why are you so angry? What happened to you? Other, Other side. Side. You're not making any sense. I what? what? Scary noises! By other side. Other side of what? Death? Death. I. You should have realized. How did you die? I. I know you're not supposed to ask this, but. But I need to know. How did you die? I will. You look like a drowned corpse. Show you. I'm assuming this is gonna scare me. Turn the TV off because it ruins the frame rate because of a bug in their development. Bathroom. Drowning. Hey, look, the actual thing. You're gonna grab my arm, aren't you? Get off! Okay, you showed me enough. Too literal now. Sibling, you drowned him or something? <laughs> Stop creaking the windows. I like how we teleported out to the through the wall. God, the shed. I knew it. The shed stood out to me. Can't really read it. Can't really read this either. I think it's what it wants to show me. Let's go back in some light and look at what we got. Found a page from an old newspaper. One zero three point two. One zero. Yes. Under the dock. It's kind of like a less annoying version of PT. I'm not saying it's ripped off of PT or anything. I know people like to throw that around. Just in the sense, you're kind of going around looking for clues and you're 
contextualizing based on some things. And there's a radio clue. I feel like we're gonna drown. We're going near the water. We almost drowned before. The dock. That's where it happened. I almost drowned. Are they going in the water? Oh crap. That's where the body is. Maybe. These are all addressed to mom. Some of Fred. Dear Miss Fred, you truly are a good person. When I heard of your own loss, I felt like weeping. Because I knew you wouldn't understand the pamphlet when I gave up my child. How I wish I had your strength. Perhaps then I would have had the perseverance to endure the look and the gossips. I pray a little bit Michael will bring you the happiness I shall never get. That you will bring him the good warm home I never could. She adopted. Run to you again, hear how he is doing. Perhaps see him again one day, and really hope the money received will prove me enough. To meet him, if only for a day, I understand you must be so very busy with. It's a mild sum, I know, but also have no means to give. Never received a reply, assured me lost. Post office letters have been delivered. Why? Not asking for much. Cruel, all I want. But money, contact the authorities. Begging, cannot sleep, keep thinking about. Silence seems to be your answer. Curse you, heartless. I understand the law is firmly on your side regarding us, but you made promises to write me, to let me call from time to time, perhaps even visit a visit. Promises you have all broken. Is it really too much to ask? Only for a day, please, just let me see my Lynn again. Oh. Lynn. Real Lynn. So she just keeps adopting kids and keeps drowning them? Maybe we're the one that got away. It's the mom we should be fearing. She's coming back soon. Look, the light just turned on. Don't jump scare me. Just waiting for it. Like, oh, Lynn, it's nice to see you again. You ready to drown? Michael, did we... Did we know each other before you died? Yes. Yes. Then, we must have lived here at the same time. We must have been like siblings. But I... I can't remember. This place was a some sort of orphanage. This place? Was it some sort of orphanage? Yes. So we were both abandoned before we came here. Were there ever children here too? There were so many letters. Were there more children than just the two of us? So mom adopted yes. us herself. What happened? But what happened? Seller. Why can't I remember? I just don't understand. How could I have forgotten you? And even though you're telling me this, why is it so hard for me to remember? Pills? Run. Ah, oh, crap. Don't pick up the phone. The mom's back. She's gonna... She's gonna finish the job. Maybe I was supposed to pick up the phone. <laughs> I don't see a seller.
Did I miss the entrance? It's kind of dark. Oh, let's pick up the phone. I think they might want me to. Hello? Zin, I've been trying to reach you for God knows how long. What's the matter? What happened? Nothing. Everything is fine. Don't lie to me, girl. I can hear you got your heart right in your throat. Now tell me what's wrong. Mom? Am I? Am I really your daughter? You have been inside my room. I'm really sorry. I... Lynn, tell me, and tell me truthfully. Have you spoken to it? Have you spoken to the spirit board? Yes, I did. Listen to me now. I'm taking the boat home right this instant. We'll talk about all of this. We'll sort it out. But until I'm back, do not speak to it. Do not listen to it. That thing does everything it can to deceive you. It's not telling you the truth. And above all, it's very, very dangerous. What if she is right and that's like the second twist? There's two twists within a twist. Now it said cellar. You usually get to a cellar from the outside, right? So you would think an entrance would be near... Why is there like a blade of super grass here? I think it scared me more than anything else. There's light over here. Is this a cellar? Like a bunker or anything. Paintings. How many paintings? Four is a mystery. Thank you.
I'm going to look at this. Jonathan 090552? This is not helpful. Hmm. One, two. They don't want some scribbles on them, like one, two. I can tell that's a painting or a photograph. Hello. A. D. R. Yes, Adderus? What? Home address? Does this, this place have a home address? It's like on an island. Well, maybe they do. I guess I don't see why not. Is there a mailbox? Oh. Here we go. Um, I just noticed there's eyes everywhere. Boss, make the symbol. Yeah, there's a lot more weird drawings around when I... That is Mom and I. And the angels. Why can't I remember them? And why is it getting so much harder to breathe? Who are these children? How many were they? Children. Paintings. Two. Yeah, address. And what's number four? Like a star. Two. Two.
eight or seven. And how many were they? We should board address. Is that a little number for address, or it's how many letters there are? And spooky timing, I have a knock on my window. If I don't look at the window, speaking of windows in very inopportune spots where it's dark, nothing will happen. I looked. I'm hoping it's rabid lizards right now, for my sake. And for the viewer's sake of this video ever gets out there. I'm just gonna brute force the last one. Okay. That was semi brute force, but I had the general gist of it. What are we gonna find? God, we're gonna die down here. Should have left when we had the chance. How could I? I've got all of you. Oh God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We should go. No, the mom! Mom? Mom? No! Quick, the shovel! Nope, bad ending. I warned you. He said run for a reason. and they're crying throughout the entire credits. They were failures. So I guess that's it for more. This was a pleasant surprise of a indie horror game. Uh, usually these kind of things are a hit and miss. You know, sort of like for the, the free market anyway. But this was a free indie horror game. And it had some quality to it. Uh, we had a little bit of a build up. It was a little bit creepy. There wasn't... A, it kind of delivered the story in an interesting way. It wasn't just like, oh, here's a bunch of notes. A few jump scares, but subtle and kind of nicely done. And you had a bit of a kicker ending. So that's all I needed to do, and... You know, it's, it's pretty good. It was a very synergetic, you know, kind of a synergetic game. It's an interesting way of describing it, but I think that's the best way to say it. The mechanic with the spirit board and the way it's kind of delivered, like I said, it all synergizes and it kind of paid off in the end. The only weakness would be it's... Graphics are kind of you know, a little bit funny, and it had some performance issues and stuff like that. But that's about it. As far as its main actual meat and potatoes, decent horror game. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Play more. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.